everybody, this is my day 6 and day 7 and back up video for Bunny Butchie before 2016. I already knew I wasn't going to do a singular day 7 update but when it came to day 6 on a Saturday I was just feeling quite tired and I just wanted to break from making daily videos for just a second. <laughs> so yeah, I'm essentially just going to do my wrap up video and then just talk a bit more about what I did on day 6 and day 7. So first of all on day 1 I completely read All I Know Now by Carrie Hope Fletcher. I gave this 5 out of 5 stars, it was an enjoyable read and I feel that the lessons and experiences that Carrie talked about in this book can be applied to people of any age really. And this means that on one day I read a total of 362 pages. And this completed the reading challenge to read a book that has yellow on the cover. In the evening of day 1 as well I started If I Stay by Gail Foreman and then I continued to read that on day 2 and completely finished it off as well. I think I gave this book four out of five stars i thought overall it was overall had good characters good relationships both uh, romantically and family wise and it's completed the challenge to read a uh, book to movie adaptation and watch the film i watched the film on the evening of day three and whilst i thought that the movie was very true to the book as a standalone film in general it was uh, just about okay meaning that for day two i read a total of 170 pages then on day 3 I read 245 pages of Illumine by Amy Corverman and Jay Kristoff. I continued to read this during day 4 and finished it, meaning that on day 4 I read a total of 354 pages. I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars. I thought it was a really exciting and interesting sci-fi story and it was told in a very unique and different way. And this completed the reading challenge to read a book that you discovered through Booktube. On day 5 I started to read The Version of Suicides by Jeffrey Eugendes. I read 130 pages of it then and then on day 6 I read 25 more pages pages of it. I am really liking this book but it's definitely not the kind of book that you kind of rush through or read quite quickly for a readathon. I am definitely going to continue and finish reading this. Just going to try and take my time with it a little bit and yeah. On day 6 as I previously mentioned I read 25 pages of The Version of Suicides but I also started The Disreputable History of Frankie Landau Banks by E. Lockhart. I made a really good start of it. I read 189 pages so my total number of pages read for day 6 was 295. This book is about a girl called Frankie if you to a guest. He attends a boarding school and she ends up getting with this guy called Matthew. But with Frankie and Matthew's relationship already like even when we hadn't been together very long I was already like oh my god please can she dump him because it wasn't the nicest and it kind of un undermined and underestimated her quite a lot which was very frustrating. And within this boarding school that we go to there is a secret society and there's a lot of pranks that happen in this book. Day 7 I continued to to read this and finished it off and overall I did really love this book, I gave it 5 out of 5 stars and I definitely think it's one of my favourite books that I've read so far this year. I would definitely say that this is kind of a feminist novel as well because well, she's kind of trying to prove that she's equal to her boyfriend and that she isn't just this kind of like cute adorable person really. I just completed the reading challenge to read a book by your favourite author. Also on day 7 I strayed from my TBR a bit and decided to read Treasured Tales from Beatrix Potter which is a collection of her works. I decided to read this because I kind of realised the other day that I've had this book ever since I was a child. It is literally like a children's picture book basically but I've claimed to be that I hadn't, I didn't think that I'd read like every single story in this and if I did I couldn't remember. I thought it's something nice and easy to read you know and it's very short, it's only 128 pages so I decided to read this and it completes the challenge to read a book that is older than you. The collection of stories in general was first published in 1987. This specific edition was first published in 1993 and the individual stories in the book were each respectfully published in 1904, 1906, 1907 and 1913. Either way, all of those years, they are a lot older than me, so there. I forgot to mention as well, on day 5 I started Reasons to Stay Alive by Matt Haig and I basically decided that I was going to read this book to complete the challenge of to read a book after sunset because this is quite a small short book and it was just a doable thing to read. <laughs> so yeah I read a bit on day 5, day 6 and on day 7 and I did complete this book. This is basically a memoir about the author's experience of depression and anxiety. It's kind of like not completely overcome it but he recovered from crisis basically and it has a lot of advice in it and just a lot of kind of like uplifting chapters I guess. The only slight disadvantage of this being the book to read after sunset for me is that sunset here about half nine. I feel like on day seven especially I kind of rushed the ending a bit. I kind of wish I didn't. I kind of regret rushing through it but this is a book that I will definitely be revisiting. At a later date I can I can reread some of the like the later chapters at like kind of my own pace I guess. Overall I gave this book 5 out of 5 stars and I would definitely recommend this to anybody who has 
experienced a mental illness or who knows anybody who has suffered from a mental illness. And of reading this, my total number of pages read for day 7 was 434. And this is the pile of everything that I read this week. In total for the book June font, I read 1,990 pages. Slightly bummed that was 10 pages away from reading 2,000. But there you go. Even though I didn't read seven books, that's fine. I read six last year. I knew I had a slightly ambitious TBR anyway. I didn't end up reading Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. But I do plan on doing that anyway before the film comes out. This is a lot more than I would read in the average week anyway. So I am proud of myself for doing that at least. So yeah, that's it for my wrap up and updates for the Booktube Fun 2016. I really enjoyed this Easy Beach Fun. This is my second time doing it. And I fully plan on taking part again next year as well. If you participated in the Booktube Fun, let me know down below in the comments how you did. I hope you all have a great day. I will see you in my next video. Bye!